Tracy. Dr. Tracy, okay? You got some nerves, baby. You got some explaining to do. When I tell you after they get finished doing with this lawsuit, they going to own the whole hospital. Okay, so let me tell y'all what Miss Tracy did, the doctor. My goodness, she has detached Jessica's baby, okay? The head from the body. And then afterwards, tried to serve it to Jessica like it was a hole. She popped that baby head on the body that was already off of it and tried to give it to Jessica and say, Jessica, your baby is gone. Ain't nothing we can do. And told Jessica if she want an autopsy report, she's going to have to pay X amount of dollars and was telling her it's best if we cremate it. They were trying to cover up what she did, Dr. Tracy. 2023, just a few weeks ago, uh, Jessica and Travion, they were excited. Uh, she was 37 weeks pregnant at that time, and they were really, really looking forward to the delivery of their firstborn child. Her water broke at about 10 o'clock in the morning on the 9th. Appropriately, she went over to labor and delivery over the Southern Regional. Uh, they admitted her and put her on an IV and gave her some medicine to basically progress the, uh, the delivery. She labored uh, for about 10 hours and then probably around 10, or strike that about 8.40 in the evening, uh, she was fully dilated and they told her to start pushing. Well, during the course of the pushing, uh, the baby stopped descending. There's something called a shoulder dystocia, fancy word for saying that the baby's shoulders could not fit through the pelvic girdle. It got stuck by the bone there in the pelvic girdle. That was recognized and what wound up happening after that is just brutal. Uh, Dr. St. Julian came in uh, and she, in the process of trying to deliver this baby, pulled on the baby's head and neck so hard and manipulated them so hard that uh, the bones in the baby's skull, face, and neck were broken. When Dr. St. Julian finally took Miss Ross to the operating room for a C-section, cesarean section, where they cut the belly and deliver the baby through the abdomen, uh, when the womb was open, the feet came out, the body came out, and there was no head. The head was stuck in the vagina, and the head subsequently was, subsequently was delivered vaginally. The baby had been decapitated. Dr. St. Julian was grossly negligent for applying ridiculously excessive force on the baby's head and neck. Uh, Dr. St. Julian and, and the nurses at Southern Regional Medical Center, they were grossly negligent for not getting the help of the on-site in-hospital OB in a timely manner. They have a hospitalist obstetrician who's there on site. And when doctors have problems with delivery, the first thing you do is call them and you get help. You get another perspective, another angle. This was not done in a timely manner, negligently. And then in an, in, in an attempt to basically misrepresent and miscommunicate to the family, when they wrap this baby up tightly, they prop the baby's head up on top of the, of the blanket to make it appear as though the head was actually attached when it wasn't.